It's a beautiful sunny morning, not a cloud in the sky, a perfect day to fly a C-17. But then something goes terribly wrong. Is the plane going to crash? Of course not. How can you crash if you're not really flying? For emergency procedures, we can't really simulate having an engine fire go. We could simulate it, but it's not as realistic as if we could do it in here because we could actually shut down the engine where we can't shut down an engine, you know, in flight. Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is home to the 445th Airlift Wing. The wing has 11 C-17s, 10 that fly, and one that just feels like it. The simulator is 30 feet tall and sits on three hydraulic legs. The legs let the simulator move up and down, left and right, giving pilots the closest experience outside of flying, well, a real C-17. So you don't have to wait around for a local, you know, a couple hours beforehand, go fly for four hours. You can just come over here, jump in the simulator, you know, and get uh, currency done within about 10 or 15 minutes. And pilots aren't the only ones getting currency. The cost savings of flying in the simulator compared to a real C-17 sortie is $20,000 per hour. Currency the Air Force needs to save during these fiscally tough times. Before there was a simulator here, they would have had to travel, I think, down to Mississippi to get their training, and of course that costs money. So the more simulators at different sites we can have, the less travel costs we incur, and then you don't have to worry about spending money on fuel, on the air crew to get the aircraft ready. Second Lieutenant Daniel Roberson is a training systems engineer. He works in the Air Force Life Cycle Management Center Simulators Division at wright Pat. They're responsible for every simulator in the Air Force, from the day it's purchased to the day it's delivered. They give airmen real-world training in a virtual world. The technology nowadays allows for these simulators to be super high fidelity. You get inside of that simulator and you feel like you're in the real airplane, especially when it's up on motion and with the visual systems we have. 50. But what do the pilots think? So the simulator is a perfect simulation of what the aircraft actually does display. And that's virtually what the Real World Simulators Division wants to hear. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, I'm Matthew Klaus.